Game Maker, how to do weapon select with ammo. So you just can't fire all you want. Your ammo eventually runs out. Now, this video is building directly off the, the little tutorial called Weapon Select. So you might want to watch that one first. Or if you're good, yeah, you can just jump in here. You'll see where we left off last time with this. We had the player. And when they hit the space bar, they would fire depending on that global variable whether it was 0, 1, or 2. Now to add ammo in here, I'm going to show you a simple way. One simple way is go back to our global object that we are using to keep track of our global variables. And since we are firing three things, we can make three variables to keep track of those three objects. So I could say global dot ammo arrow, maybe give them five. Global dot ammo bomb, give them two. Global dot ammo dynamite and give them one now since they're globals we can use these easily anywhere in the game now how do we actually use these inside of our firing not too bad let's go back to the player and when the player presses the space key we just have to add a little bit more on this condition of the if here we have if their selected weapon is weapon zero we fire the arrow but we actually have to do another condition now. Not just do they have the arrow selected, but we want to put an and global dot ammo arrow is bigger than zero. So we only want to fire the arrow if their ammo variable is bigger than zero and at the same time, you know, they have it selected as their weapon. Now, if you just do this and run it, it's going to work. But there's sort of one crucial thing here. The whole point of keeping track of your ammo is you eventually want the ammo to run out, right? And force the player to do something. So let's fire that arrow, and then let's take that ammo variable down by one. Eventually, when they keep firing that arrow, this variable will hit zero. And when it goes and checks here, if the ammo variable is above zero, that will be false, and this will no longer run until you maybe let them pick up an ammo pack and add a little bit to that variable again. Now let's just test this out for the arrow and see if it stops. I think I gave the arrow five shots, so uh, let's see if I can fire just five arrows here. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm still pressing, just got to trust me. Whoops. I hit something that wasn't very good there. Abort. I see where my error was. I'll explain that in one sec. But it did stop firing after five. But I've just done one little thing here. Left over from the last video. And that was, let's say the arrow does not fire because they're out of ammo. Down here, I'm still doing this direction and angle code. And I really don't want to do that because if I didn't fire an arrow, Artie doesn't exist. So a simple thing I can just do to fix that here is I can just cut that out and actually put them in the individual if statements. And I'll have to do that with all of them. And I'm going to fast forward, but I'm going to add those and conditions to all of these two. Boom, and like magic, it's done. I've added the and statements with the appropriate ammos. And I've taken the appropriate ammos down by one every time. And what we have here is we should have it uh, working great. I'm just going to hide the sound because obviously I don't want to play the sound every time. I should probably have the sound in here as well. But let's give this basic setup a go. Two, three, four, five. No more firing. I hit W. I switch to my other weapon. I can only fire two. I switch to W. I do my dynamite. I can only fire one. I keep switching weapons here. No more ammo of anything, right? So I'd have to have some ammo packs. Now you may say to yourself, well, once you have this kind of setup, don't you want to show the ammos of what you're using up here? And of course the answer is yes. I want to cycle through my weapons and know how much of everything I have left. 
That video is going to be called Weapon Select with Ammo Draw. And so we'll have a visual on it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.